In the last episode of Rockstar Rescue, I took the rescue bike to San Diego Electric Bike. Ray put it on his stand and we started breaking down the bike. The motor was making a grinding noise and you might be here to fuck around, but we're not. So we got a new motor on its way, but I wanted to break this motor open and see where it failed. We made other progress on the bike. We got the Fox fork in. We got a lot of parts ordered. The motor should be here first week in July, and we'll pick it up episode three, early July, and get this bike back together. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll pick up the sound here in a minute. Um, I got a witty comment here and there and a little discussion on uh, what I'm doing. I uh, got this uh, 43 millimeter by 16 point uh, socket off Amazon. Uh, didn't want to get the whole wrench. Uh, figured uh, I'll probably use this damn thing once or twice my whole life. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not an expert, I'm not trying to be. Not trying to be the um, the rock star uh, repair guy. Yeah, I think that's already been done. But I uh, couldn't find any videos of anyone tearing up a uh, G510 slash M620 bike with an actual uh, problem. Now, I did see um, controllers being replaced, and you know, that's kind of. Uh, that's pretty simplistic. Uh, you'll see me take the controller off here um, after the spider gear and all that. But um, anyway, um, all the videos are just re-greases. So, or re-greasing, I should say. So anyways, uh, this is the um, world's worst, uh, worst, most destroyed um, buffang mid-motor uh, maybe ever shot on YouTube. So, uh, I'm also talking over the dryer that was, uh, alarming and, you know, I didn't want you to have to hear the, uh, dryer alarming. So let's pick it up and, uh, listen to Matt Haley take apart this busted ass motor. Yeah, so I'm holding the uh, controller assembly. Uh, that's all one part. Uh, three wires and then two um, wires that connect to the boards with uh, six pin and four pin connectors. You can't mix those up. And then the hall sensor, which is the black wire. So um, if you were to need to uh, repair or replace your controller, you would stop the video and do the reverse order of what I just did because uh, that's taking the controller off. So I'm going to delve in deeper and see where this thing failed and uh, I can see it a mile away.
All right, so the dryer is going to start alarming again, and uh, I wanted to get myself off the hook here. So look, I don't recommend you pry these gears out like this. Uh, they're giving me such a hard time because they are so worn, they're like stuck together. So they don't slide up really easily. And the other fact is this motor is potentially done. So um, I was rough, I was uh, abrasive, I did pry, and maybe you shouldn't do that with yours, especially if it's working well. Um, I just did it because, uh, like I said, the gears were so worn into each other, they were stuck. So that's why I'm prying. So uh, save the comments for uh, someone who gives a shit, but uh, I don't. freaking done so I didn't see video I don't remember seeing a video on how to get this part off but as you can see there's chewed up and I seen this website it's like greenbikes.com or something sorry if I got the name wrong but uh where to get parts for this like this torque sensor etc and I know there's there's information on this gear here but uh, this thing is just chewed up I'm going to have to watch some YouTube videos on how to get this out. So, you see me prying and stuff, and if this motor wasn't broken, I wouldn't be so uh, cavalier. Uh, but I don't think I damaged anything. Anyway, Dunn's geese for the, for the cogs, the sprockets, or the gears. 
and then look at all this metal shavings. Damn. So maybe it really does need a new motor. Luckily I bought a new motor. So new motor is on its way. I'd love to talk about it, but I'm going to wait till it gets here so I could reveal the big news. So I'm going to go watch some YouTube videos and see how to get this off. And then look up that website, see if I can get these parts, these replacement parts. This seems okay. This needs to be cleaned up. Hopefully the torque sensor is okay. But there's a lot of shit in here. And I wish, I, I hope it came through on the camera, but this thing's mangled and this thing's mangled. So, so back to YouTube. See uh, if there's anyone out there who uh, knows how to get this off. I'm going to go uh, watch it right now and then uh, come back and uh, see if I can get it off. Isn't YouTube the best? Man, uh, you just you just get on there and like literally anything in life, you just get on there, punch it up. How do you do it? You skip to the part you need and you're off to the races. So to get this out, I gotta take this off. So this is called the third gear. 20 bucks on the on the interweb. So I did not see this part though. says about this job. Don't mess up the gasket. I think the gaskets are for sale. Oh, it's a magnet.
and it's like held in there like by a magnet. in there touch gasket's still good everybody so the uh, this is all magnetized and it just sucks it back up. So, to get that out. So I watched the Luna watched Luna tear down. They didn't uh, show that part how to get that out. And there's nothing holding it other than the magnet. So am I to to uh, press it out or
some kind of puller on it. So we're gonna uh, see what we gotta do here. All right. So I don't know what the answer is. So I'm gonna just try brute force. So I got this uh, 14 socket. Dude, how was that? So now we can see the extent of this damage. So it was just chewed up and mangled. And so I don't know if I got to buy this whole rotor or press this on, but anyways, that's what we're up against. Shit. Oh. So that's a... This is a strong magnet, so I guess you want to um, be careful. So, got it out. So this is the third, called the third gear. This I found online for 20 bucks. I mean, not this one, this is my broken one. But I just want to uh, showcase just how bad that is uh, ripped apart. And this thing is almost round now. So that's gonna be need replace. And then this, uh, this here is just mangled. So this, I, I don't see this online. This is the rotor. Uh, or this is pressed on. So actually that's just a shoulder on here. But, uh, might spoil that party but uh, bearings pressed the shafts pressed and then this looks pressed on there and this bearings pressed on there so it might be done skis but another world's first uh, Completely mangled G510 slash M620 motor. And uh, we're going to see if we can get parts for it. Uh, controller might be good. Some parts might be good. I might have some parts for sale. Uh, or um, it gets uh, recycled. But So anyway, that's the damage update.